Thank you. Yeah, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Moel Fatatri. I'm the founder and CEO of Massar. Let me walk you through our story. Two years ago, in summer of 2014, I visited Egypt after spending over a decade of my life in Europe. And I was shocked to see that there was daily blackouts, uh, especially during the summer period. Uh, in this picture, the only reason that boat is lit is because it runs on diesel. So the amount of diesel that is being used to generate basic electricity is staggering. Even billboards and some very uh, critical utilities are actually using uh, diesel electricity. So I basically came back to Europe and I started thinking that, you know, with a place that, I mean, if a country like Germany with about 40% of the solar irradiance can generate so much from solar, what is the potential for a country like Egypt? And uh, then I started to look at the generic uh, African map, and I realized that in 2012 already, before even the last few years of uh, reduction in, in solar technology costs, uh, pr pretty much the entire Africa reached diesel parity. So uh, right now, it's, it's, it's a much better ROI than, than anything else. So we joined Rockstart. We are alumni for, of the 2015 batch. And um, we have developed a team that is, consists of professional clean tech investors as well as uh, uh, sales professionals and serial entrepreneurs, engineers, uh, and so on. They are distributed between uh, Finland, Egypt, and the Netherlands, where we're headquartered. And uh, this is our product. So it is a shipping container. Uh, it can come in 10 feet, 20 feet, or 40 feet, and it basically completely replaces a diesel generator. And um, it comes with storage built in, so it gives you 24 hour, uh, hours of solar. And basically, um, the advantages versus diesel are tremendous. So if you are, for example, a telecom operator and you have thousands of uh, telecom towers running on diesel, you have a logistical nightmare to refuel these you know, every single day. Uh, in fact, uh, we have heard about telecom operators in a country like Nigeria uh, that are basically uh, divesting their telecom towers just because the OPEX is so high of running it on diesel. So this solves a direct problem there. Uh, of course, many of the African countries have foreign uh, currency problems, so even getting that diesel into the country is actually a challenge, and it doesn't make any sense when there's so much uh, sunlight. And uh, this technology can be used in a variety of ways, of course, B2B, industrial and commercial clients, but at the same time, it can also be deployed in rural villages, and in fact, that's how we started. We crowdfunded uh, our prototype last year, and we deployed it in Mali, West Africa. It's been powering a village of a 1,000 people ever since. Uh, we will be focusing on the B2B segment because we think these are the early adopters who have a real pain point and once the cost of the technology goes down, uh, I think we can benefit more uh, the rural uh, villages. Um, so basically at the moment we are, uh, our customer surveys uh, show that they are uh, producing their uh, diesel electricity at a cost of you know, 30 to 60 uh, dollar cents on average and um, our solution can produce it at much less. Now, this is what we charge. This is not how much it costs to produce the electricity. This basically includes the financing costs because we offer a leasing model. So we manufacture it with investor money and then we lease it over a period of time. Or, of course, uh, customers have the option to buy it outright. So this is where the range comes from. And uh, here are some milestones. So we raised the pre-seed round for R&D after we joined Rockstart. We successfully deployed the prototype. After that, we raised a seed round, which takes care of our runway uh, for a while. Uh, we are on track to deploy five units uh, later this year. When we do that, we become cash flow positive, And all the money we raise after that is uh, strictly for assets. We will not necessarily need any money for our own runway after that. Uh, we're looking at a Series A round uh, in summer of 2017, and then once we hit the 20-unit uh, uh, mark by the end of next year, uh, I think we will have proven very well that this technology is ready for mass deployment, and then we will look at scaling our plans. We already have a letter of intent for asset financing uh, with a private equity investor from Finland. Uh, we are in talks uh, with the government of Egypt uh, about uh, uh, rural villages that need uh, electricity, as well as uh, one of the largest telecom providers in Nigeria that have 10,000 telecom towers that have a very strong diesel problem. Uh, we have developed uh, a number of partnerships. I'm glad to say that, in fact, this morning I came back from Silicon Valley. I was attending President Obama's Global Entrepreneurship Summit, and I'm glad to announce here that we will be joining Facebook's Open Cellular Initiative, which is aiming to develop last-mile uh, uh, connectivity coverage to rural communities. So every box that comes out of us will come built in with an array of services and not just basic electricity. 
We are also members of Solar Power Europe and also the German Solar Association. And um, this is a huge market. Um, Africa is as big as USA, China, and 18 uh, other countries, as you can see. And we think that uh, the Sun continent needs to be powered by the Sun. Thank you very much.